If I leave it here, Monsieur de la Serre will see it the instant he returns. These are the words spoken by our ancestors, the words that lay at the heart of our creed. Stay your blade from the flesh of the innocent. Hide in plain sight. Never compromise the Brotherhood. Let these tenets be branded upon your mind. Follow them and be uplifted. Break them at your peril. Rise, assassin. Arno Dorian is dead. He has been culled from this world, his sins and failures turned to dust. Tonight he is reborn, a novice of the Assassin Brotherhood. Welcome back. Now that you've experienced life as an assassin, 
Are you willing to take up the fight and join us? Deacon, load the file. Coming up. We looked at a media file from Afterga last month, and the information it contains is astounding. But we won't share these things with just anyone. By pressing play, you'll be joining the assassins. If you want to fight the Templar menace, if you're willing to save civilization from Abstergo's clutches, press play, sit back, and ready yourself for the truth. Good choice. Welcome to the Assassins, Initiate. In the 1950s, it was theorized that human DNA worked via the triple helix model. Some years later, the work of Crick and Watson demolished this theory in favor of the double helix. Today, we know the double helix to be indisputably the basis of all life. So why did the triple helix theory gain so much traction? Why did Rosalind Franklin's x-rays seem to confirm it? It turns out that their initial samples had been taken from small traces of precursor DNA, the rare genes of an ancient race embedded in our own. We now know that triple helix DNA is the foundation of the precursor genome. It is the genetic Rosetta Stone of our age. If we can crack it open, if we can sequence the full precursor genome, there is no limit to the knowledge we will gain. Using Animus technology, precursor history will be open to us for the first time ever. Ancient languages will be unlocked and ancient technology will be ours for the taking. Imagine what will be possible if we master the technology that underpins the pieces of Eden. Such discoveries would surpass 100-fold the splitting of the atom. Last year, we located a rich sample of precursor DNA in a donor whose genes contained human and precursor DNA at an incredible 25 to 1 ratio. Our work will begin with this sample. Our goal is to unravel the triple helix, sequence the precursor genome, and change the world for the better, forever. Welcome to the Phoenix Project. So, this is where we stand. Last year, Abstergo acquired the body of a man we call a sage, one of a rare breed of humans with a surplus of ancient DNA. This sparked a search for more sages, in the present and in the past. The more Abstergo finds, the closer they get to their final goal. We've blocked their recent attempts to find more, but Abstergo will not stop looking until they sequence a full precursor genome. So, why Arno Dorian? Why chase an assassin through the French Revolution? It turns out, at some point in his life, Arnaud came into contact with another sage. We need you to find out when and where these meetings took place. If Arnaud was present for this sage's death, it might lead Abstergo straight to his body. Naturally, we'd like to find it first. This is where you come in. It won't be simple. Genetic memory must be tackled in sequence to keep the data stable. But we're confident you're up to the task. And you won't be alone. Other initiates, assassins just like you, are doing their part to end this fight. If you need more training, more experience, you can call on them for help. All right. Loading the next sequence. I've got something else for you. The more time you spend with Arno, the more data we'll have to increase your synchronization with him and to activate his abilities. Here, have a look at this.
One last thing. While you've been busy, I had Deacon do some poking around in Arno's memories. Seems he was a busy guy. See that symbol? That's a co-op mission. I play a lot of games multiplayer. I don't know about you, but I thought you'd like to mix it up a little. These are missions Arno ran with his assassin buddies, so they'll give you an idea of what our organization's about. Just walk into the glitch and you'll get all the details. I've marked them on your map.
content de vous trouver. On m'avait dit que vous étiez absent. Cela tombe. Bienvenue à vous, mon ami. Quoi donc, les gens Conscience quand même. Même particulièrement hideux. Three times this month. I gotta eat. You gotta feed me. Works out. Shut it. What do you want? A lot of crime going on. Need help? I've got things well under control. Thank you very much. <laughs> what about all the murders you never solve? I said shut it, Vidoc. Think about it. He solves them. You get the credit. Tell you what, solve a murder, I'll give you a weapon out of the bin. <laughs> Meanwhile, I have more important things to do. <sighs> hey! I know the streets. I can help you out. Why would you? Because that stinking stupid pig of a police minister doesn't have the stinking stupid sense to do anything that might give even a grifter like me hope that someday, someday, this city might not be a shitty place to live. And because I'm bored out my bloody mind! Oh, for the love of God, Vidoc, shush!
que diable faites-vous ici I am Madame Tussaud. I'm adept at making wax figures and death masks. I promised the assembly I would make masks of famous victims of the guillotine. It's grisly, but it was the only way to get out of prison. And now someone has stolen the heads I was given. Could you please find them for me? A friend found out something you might find important. She sent me this letter. who guards Saint-Chapelle wanted the head of a limp de Gouge. He was in love with her from afar. The judge at the Palais de Justice who condemned Jacques Hébert apparently wanted Hébert's head as a trophy.
dans ma boutique. Thank <laughs> you. 
them. I can make the death masks and be safe. Oh, what a world in which we live. What's the mission? The mission? Let's get your arse in position. Don't ask questions, piss pop. I live to serve. Lord Guillaume de Roussel has generously agreed to our price of 40%. An act of desperation. What about the priest? You'll come around. 
Your confidence is infectious, Sivere. My boys will have the wagon ready. Here are the details. Make sure it goes smoothly. Of course. Make sure that it goes smoothly, cretin. When have I ever... Murder! Murder! These bastards Help! always have bodyguards. Well... Next time, do that before he starts screaming. Why do we hang about here when Sivere still lives? He killed Monsieur de la Serre! Patience. Sivere is not the target. Not today. Come on. Council's waiting for a report. Fuck him out, piss pop! Fuck him out, piss pop! Get him my smoke pop! Shouldn't we stop them? Stop them? Avoid them? Doesn't matter. There's always more fanatics. Can't save everyone, Pisspot. Well, there's a cheery thought. Heads up, lads. Remy found Monsieur Arpinon's body in a courtyard not far from here. Stabbed through the throat. I'll still be running when you're dead. Need a break? I'll still be running when you're dead. I'll still be running when you're dead. running when you're dead. I can't believe this. 
We've not seen C there for a year, and you're letting him walk. All because his name wasn't on a bloody piece of paper. The timing's not right. Too many variables, too many loose threads. And if we lose him again? He'll be at Notre Dame tomorrow, if he keeps to the schedule we found. Arno, oh Godspeed. So what happens next? We take this ledger full of Templar records to Mirabeau. Proceeds to do nothing with it. You don't seem terribly fond of him. He's a politician. Sees himself as a great peacemaker. He thinks he can end the war between assassins and Templars. Bring the revolution to a happy conclusion. And convince dogs and cats to live together in peace. And that's bad? It's a self-aggrandizing pipe dream. The Templars are at their weakest since Jacques de Malay burned. And we're running around after second-rate smugglers. All because Mirabeau. Well, the customs agents of France can rest easy. Arpinot's dead. Shaking down imprisoned nobles seems a bit out of his oeuvre. What are the Templars up to? If we hadn't spent the last year hobbled by your damned truce, we might know that. Here's a point, Honoré. The truce was with Grand Master de la Serre. The man's been dead for two years. Whoever's in charge now, you can be certain they aren't sitting idle. We might have learned more had we not allowed Sivert to escape. Sivert was there? I know your heart is set on keeping the peace, but bringing Monsieur de la Serre's killer to justice would count for something, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. But do not confuse your personal vendetta with a sound strategy. If he wants to kill Templars, let him kill Templars. I've done him all I can. Boys ready. Very well. Assassin. I charge you to go to Notre Dame de Paris and to find there the Templar agent Charles Gabriel Siver. You will learn his secrets, and when you have done so, you will bring him peace in accordance with our tenets.
I don't know. <laughs> you've, got, you've got the wrong man. What the hell do you think you're on about? Oh, you want to deal with this stupid bullet, brother? Ah ouais. Non, 
Someone's killed Lapine. Un homme bien étrange. Something kind of creepy about monks. Closed up like that in a big building. Sometimes that's hard on people. Better check out the monastery here on the island, though. Deactivated.